holidays okay after diwali vacation this is our first lecture so how are you all i hope you are well okay so we are starting our new lesson so let's begin the journey of our new lesson which is block number 15 history of time keeping devices in which we are taking lesson plan number 1 features of notes so today we'll be seeing what are the features of notes so let's start the lesson before we start actual lesson let's understand the aim and resources for the same aim is very simple you will be able to identify features of notes made about an informational informational means wherein you get information about a particular topic okay so our topic is very simple history of time keeping devices so here we will be able to understand the features of notes and the resources for the same the resources which we required are s1 which is our workbook notebook and exceed content book okay so these are the resources which we need first tell me one thing before we actually start the lesson what different strategies can be used while reading to help us understand a text better do you have any idea just imagine you have to read a novel you have to read your favorite story book but what are the different strategies you can use while reading the same so that you can understand a text better that story or a particular poem or anything you can understand very very clearly do you have any idea so while reading a text we can use the pictures to make predictions if we read something that sounds to our real lives then we can make connections with our lives to understand the text better we can also make connections with the previously read text to understand a text better okay so while reading text we should use pictures so that we can remember about that particular thing okay or we read something about sounds then we start imagining about that particular sound so that we just try to make connections so that we will be able to understand the things very clearly so let's start the actual lesson history of time keeping devices today we are going to see what were the different time keeping devices in ancient times and how the changes came or how the development happened during that particular phase today we know that we use the fitness bands different type of watches digital analog watches okay so there are many types of devices even on mobile also we can see the time so there is too much progress but in history in ancient time what were the time keeping devices let's see them one by a one so are you ready yes so what you have to do i'm going to read and explain the lesson one uh, passage voice okay so i'll read first passage then second like that okay so you have to place your finger on that particular line so that you can read along with me and you can understand the things really well so get ready just open page number 25 of your content book so let's begin so this lesson has been written by damanjit kaur 
दिस लेसन हैज बीन रिटर्न बाय दमनजीत कर येस द पॉइंटर इज रेडी नाउ दिस लेसन हैज बीन रिटर्न बाय दमनजीत कर इट इज हिस्ट्री ऑफ टाइम कीपिंग डिवाइसेस टाइम मीन्स वी नो दैट द डिवाइसेस विच शोज टाइम सो वॉट वर the devices which were used in that particular time okay somewhere around 3500 bc okay before christ so let's begin since time immemorial now here you can see immemorial means in that ancient time okay from a long time humans have used different ways to track time the process of measuring how long something takes is called time keeping okay the process of measuring how long something takes is called time keeping in the past people used primitive methods primitive means old methods ancient methods like observing the stars changes in seasons and day and night to measure time but the accuracy level wasn't that much okay these methods were well suited to planning activities such as farming and sacred feast however as human life became more complex the need arose to keep time more accurately as we know that nowadays accuracy has its own importance like you have to go to mumbai from panvel so there is one train and the timing of the train is 9:15 suppose if you are not going to check time properly you might miss that train or you might reach early before uh, that train timing okay so for that to avoid all these things we use accurate times because we have many options variety of watches are there okay even at the railway station on the platform you will get the watches you get the timing over there this led to the development of different time keeping devices so let's begin one by one early methods of measuring time keeping time using the sun and stars so first they used to use sun and stars to just keep the time or keep the track of time first one is obelisk okay obelisk the egyptians were the first society to take time keeping seriously as a culture so as a culture the egyptians people they uh, started searching something by which they can keep the track of time around 3500 bc they built tall four sided pointed monuments called obelisk you can see here this is a uh, this is a monument which has four sides okay pointed monuments these were placed at specific locations to cast shadows from the sun you can see here the sun light is there and because of that here you are getting some shadows the moving shadows help separate the day into two parts by indicating noon okay and because of which they were able to just identify the uh noon time and the evening time also the egyptians also figured out the years longest and shortest days by observing when the shadow at noon was shortest or longest and they had very keen observation they used to observe which is the longest and shortest days in that particular year okay later they added markers around the base of the monument to indicate further time divisions and after that they started giving some markers like in a watch you can see some of the points okay 
so like that this was the first timekeeping device made by the egyptians around 3500 bc what is that obelisk obelisk understood very good next device was sun dials okay so the sun dial was the next step towards an accurate device to tell the time around 1500 bc okay so sun dial is another device device means what do you know it is simply a machine designed for a specific purpose device is nothing but a machine designed for a specific purpose okay around 1500 bc the egyptians started using a round disc you can see here there is a round disc marked with hours like you can see the watch you must be having the watch in hall or in bedroom just look at that watch and you'll see there is a marking of minutes and hours okay like that of a clock it had an attach upright structure you can see here it had an attach upright structure that cast a shadow you can see here the shadow okay on the disc that was used to mark the time the sundial kept accurate time but only for a half a day at midday the device had to be turned 180 degrees to measure the afternoon hours but it had some limitations you can you see it was all about on the sunlight it is based on the sunlight okay during evening time and night time it wasn't useful but nowadays we use watches which can be used all the time correct so second device was a sun and dial let's see which was the next device next one is markets market consist of a straight bar and a plumb line okay you can see here the plumb line is there okay and straight bar a weighted line used to establish a straight line vertical line to the ground markets were developed around 600 bc and were used by the ancient egyptians to tell the time at 9 and it was used by the egyptians to tell the time at 9 okay it was based on the stars you can see pole star is there other stars also you can see this is a sky in a sky you can see the star and this is night time okay to do so a pair of markets were used one of the markets was aligned to the pole star that is nothing but north star and the other was aligned to the north south meridian and other was aligned to north south meridian okay by taking note of when particular stars cross the meridian the user could determine the time markets were extremely accurate and they were very accurate and could be used to make astronomical observations observation related to astronomy like uh, celestial objects as we know that nowadays scientists use the telescope in the hope of observing an astronomical object that has never been seen before okay so so these were the devices which were used mainly during that time we will see one more device and after that we'll complete the remaining lesson in the next lecture okay let's see which is the next device so this next device had a water based resources like keeping time using water okay it works on water so water clocks clepsydras clepsydras or water clocks okay the name for this water clock was clep sidras a water clocks were the first time keeping devices that calculated time without using the sun or the passage of celestial bodies in first 
three cases we have seen they used to work on a sunlight or on the observation of celestial bodies means various stars and all okay the greeks began using water clocks around 325 bc bc means year before christ these clocks had a narrow opening you can see through which water drip from here the water used to drip okay at regular intervals into a reservoir that carried a float the float had markers you can see here there are markers and as the water rose it marked the passing hours it is similar to watch only you can see here another version of the water clock was one that released water at a regulated rate into a bowl into until it sank these clocks were popular across the middle east and were still being used in parts of africa during the early 20th century okay in some of the parts of africa people used to use these watches or the clocks till 20th century so isn't it interesting in nowadays we have very simple watches but at that time interesting things were there correct wow so in a homework what you have to complete so simply you how to complete activity number s1 from your workbook from notebook you have to read the grammar guide section on abbreviations in the exam we have gone through these abbreviations part so nothing new for us and symbols from the exceed content book make your own list of 10 abbreviations and symbols each okay you have to make a list of abbreviations on page number 32 you will get this abbreviations and symbols we know that while chatting with our friends on whatsapp or by using whatsapp we use various symbols and various abbreviations we use by which we can understand the emotions or we get the message okay or we can send or we can express our emotions or we can transfer or send the messages correct yes very nice so check page number 32 for the same during our online session will surely check this grammar guide so need not to worry about other things you have to just write 10 abbreviations of your own okay you need to do some research go through the internet read grammar books you will surely get some of the abbreviations understood this much if there is any query question or doubt in your mind please do ask me by messaging or by calling me Thank you so much have a great day to all of you thanks a lot